The Kuala Selangor Nature Park is home to many unique and interesting creatures. Among these wonders of life comes another, a more agile, energetic sort, the color-changing silver leaf monkey. The silver leaf monkey is our logo. Okay, it's already this logo was there. So it's like a part of K S N P. And this monkey we call as a press by this Kristata. Okay, the scientific name, but monkey at Kuala Selangor is a quite unique because it's an endemic species. Okay, once I say endemic species, it means we only can find at this area. Okay, if you go other part of the world, you cannot find this anymore. It's an endemic species, and it's a subspecies from Presbyteria cristata. We call it a Presbyteria selangorensis. Though differing in species. The Trichopithecus selangorensis shares the same behavioral traits with other monkeys. Both male and female juveniles engage in a lot of playing, along with infants that are a few weeks old. When the infants face any kind of danger, the bright orange fur easily catches the attention of the older silverleaf monkeys and alerts them of the situation, so they can rush to protect the young one. Our programs are more focusing on the environmental education and conservation. And annually, um, we will do around 80 to 120 programs mm. for the public. And we're also doing like a public event, like a World Wetland Day, uh, a Festival of Beings, and other events follow the world themes and the environment. However, being an endemic species may be a curse for these monkeys. Being natives to these lands, if something were to happen, we may never be able to see them again. By the 1980s, MNS learned that the numbers have steadily declined and had their scientists declare the Lutong as a protected species. Perubahan tu kita nampak ketara lah. Sebab dahulunya, um, Feeding area hanya di atas Bukit Malawati sahaja. Tapi sekarang, public dah start feed dekat kawasan luar lagi. Luar daripada kawasan Taman Alam Kuala Selangor. Dan monyet-monyet ni makin hilang rasa takut dengan manusia. Hey, they said there's uh, any people with the food, they'll go near, uh, begging for the food, asking food. So, orang luar pula memang dah di... Macam bila sebut Kuala Selangor ni cepat, oh tem, uh, Kuala Selangor, dia orang terus macam, oh tempat bagi monyet makan. Sebab itu dah dijadikan sebagai salah satu attraction. Instead of, oh tempat tengok monyet, now it's becoming, oh tempat bagi monyet makan. Despite their efforts, the silver lutongs are decreasing at an alarming rate. And this is because of us. And it might not be the reason you think it is. Kalau still kita fit uh, berulang kali dan tak, akan, tak berhenti, Monyet-monyet ni mungkin, mungkin akan keluar daripada kawasan hutan. Even sekarang pun dah ada juga. Monyet-monyet masuk kawasan perumahan, anak-anak kecil jalan bawa makanan dia orang kejar, nak, nak rampas. So, itu mungkin boleh menjadi lebih buruk lah. While we think feeding these furry friends is simply a harmless and generous action, sooner or later, this could disrupt the balance of the ecosystem for not only them, but for us too. Daily, there will be at least one or two monkey will be get eaten by grass at Kuala Selangor. Okay, and that's a minimum, one or two. But sometimes maximum can be more than 10 monkey at the, on the same day near the Kuala Selangor area. There is something that is very disturbing to know, that these monkeys will go to such a distance for food after being exposed to such a small and somewhat harmless gesture by us humans. Even more so, it is disheartening to know that despite the efforts of MNS and the park to curb these problems, 
nothing has worked. Still ada juga orang yang memurah hati untuk bagi monyet makan. So memang setiap kali kami nampak kami akan tegurlah. Tolong jangan bagi monyet makan, jangan bagi monyet makan dan dia orang still akan flick the foods to the monkeys juga. So when that happen apa yang kita orang akan buat kita akan suruh dia orang keluar daripada kawasan taman lah dan tak ben, uh, macam nak fit encik kena keluar dari kawasan taman. Taman dalam kawasan tu memang tak boleh nak makan. Kami, kami hanya kuasa, ada kuasa untuk menegur sahaja. If I say excuse me this is not a place for feeding they will question me back. Well there's no any signage. Who we'll say? Ah they will ask me something like that. Human stubbornness and ignorance is something we can agree on. But surprisingly, that what seemed to be a gesture of kindness can actually produce more harm than good. As the silvery lutongs become ever more daring to venture out, they face another problem. Human development. With the soaring changes happening around KSNP, these silvery lutongs are forced to adapt to it, with every new generation being born. When including the already existing and ongoing problems, the young ones will continue the generational cycle set of actions taught by their parents. To break this, MNS persists in their action to bring awareness to the public to save these furry friends. But the question still remains. What can we do? Human food is poison for animals. Okay? And once we are start feeding the monkey, we are changing their behavior, their diet, okay, their habit, everything. So it's meaning we're creating a problem in ecosystem. Second, if they see any monkey, please uh, make a gap. Okay? Barrier. Okay? No no need to be so near be so kind to monkey and create a connection between the monkey and human sekiranya dihentikan uh, feeding tu mungkin kita boleh menggalakkan monyet monyet-monyet uh, uh, lotong ni kembali ke alam semula jadi dia cari makan sendiri dekat uh, dekat kawasan habitat dia living harmoniously sustainably with monkey Fifty years ago the forests in which the silver leaf monkeys called home used to stretch further than the eye could see used to the silvery langur is the cornerstone of any habitat with that we lose them at our peril Human need to understand if anything's happen in nature at the end only will be effect to human <laughs>